Hi guys, back again with the Vape Invader. Right guys, for review today we have juice. It is Friday, Friday flavours after all. And today we have four juices by Black Rhino Vapes. Um, I've had these for a while guys. I've obviously they've been waiting for review. These were sent over kindly by the company. Thank you very much. It doesn't change my opinion. I will give it to you straight. Um, they do have a large variety of juices. This is just a small selection. This is the ice range that they have sent me. The Rhino Ice. I look forward to possibly working with these guys again in the future because I do know they've got some really good flavours that I'd love to try. But without further ado, we'll get into the ones that we've got here, guys, because the others have nothing to do with this review. So, we have a... Well, I'll tell you what they all are first, guys. Obviously, they're by Black Rhino. They have the warning label that it may contain negative. Mine don't. These are all zeros. They are zero short fills. And they are 70 PG... Uh, 70 VG, 30 PG, 0 milligram, 60 mil. It has an expiry date on and a batch number. I'm guessing so you can trace that batch. The first one we have is a Rhino Iced Apple. Then we have an Iced Grape. I do believe I like both of those. Uh, I do like a, a nice icy grape. We have done them before on the channel. An Orange. That's interesting. Here we have it again, guys. Another mango. I really don't like mango flavours. Though I did get shocked by the one of the other juices that had the mango and blackcurrant. The more I vaped it, guys, the more that mango got on my tits. I ended up having to give it away. I couldn't vape it. Mango, for me, is just not in my flavour profile. It doesn't mean this is a bad juice by any means. It just means I don't particularly going to like it. But we'll give it away, vape, and we'll see. Because maybe, just maybe, I might like it. I very much doubt it. But I'm telling you that now before I get into it. Because it's like a little bit of a disclaimer, guys. Because it's nothing against the ju juice company. And if there's any juice companies watching... They do want to send me some juice over. Just bear in mind, I really don't like mango. It's best not to send me a mango because I don't want to say a juice is bad when it's not. You know, I want to give you my honest opinion. But mango is just not something I like. Anyway, I've waffled enough, so let's jump into the first one. Now, two reasons. I am not using the Narca today. I am using the Drop, as you probably recognise from Wednesday's video. Two reasons. One, because this thing is absolutely fucking fantastic. Brian, you did a fucking amazing job. And secondly... Because it's already vaped up nicely with this Rhino Iced Apple. This is what I was using, guys, off camera because I didn't want to spoil it. So, I will make sure that this is fully saturated. Which it practically is, guys. I have been vaping on this. And we shall take this for a rip. Or a vape. Or whatever you'd like to call it. I'm going to stick it in my gob. I'm going to suck on it. Just like she does. Right. Here we go, guys. I'm at 80 watts. And it's a 0.15 build. And it is running at about 3.5 volts. I vape that nice and wide open, guys, so you can see a bit of the cloudage. It does very good cloud production. That's a, obviously a accompaniment to the way I've built and the tank, but the juice too does, you know, do some nice clouds. That is a very nice flavour. It is a Rhino Iced Apple. Um, it is what it is, guys. It's a very nice, sweet apple. I say almost like a candy apple. And obviously, I'm guessing it's Coolada, not menthol that's in there. It does taste like a Coolada. A very pleasant vape, guys. As I say, it is more of a... Um, like a sweet, sweet apple. Maybe like a sweet apple, like a candy apple, or rather than a fresh apple. But it's making my mouth water, guys. So it is a very nice vape. Right? So we'll put that one there, guys. Um, I'll take this away. I'll re-wick. Come back with the next juice. The next juice will be the iced grape. Back in a minute. Hey, right, guys. We're back. And we're all wicked up, ready to go with the Rhino Iced Grape. <clears throat> now, when I was dripping this onto my hot coils, guys, I've shown you before what I like to do. I like to, when my hot coils are hot, just drip a little bit of juice on there to cool them down before I thread in my cotton. The smell that came off this was fantastic. Now, I hope the flavour is going to be the same. So, here we go again on the Vupu at 80 watts, 1.5 build, at 3.5 volts. On the Vupu, holding the drop, or should I say, drag and drop. Here we go. Scream if you want to go faster. Mm. 
A um, little bit different this guys compared to a, a, an icy grape I've had before. Um, I'm guessing it's the difference between a white grape and a red grape possibly. Um, it doesn't taste like any other grape vape that I've had before. It's a pleasant vape, but again, I'm guessing these are more of a candy range, more like a sweetie range, you know, because this is more like, a, again, I'd say it's like a, a sweet grape rather than actual grape. It's not like I'm chewing on a grape. It's like that nice flavor you maybe get from a, um, a jelly grape or a hard sweet grape, and it's that sort of flavor, obviously, with the cool adder. It's a nice vape. Is it as nice as the apple? Probably not. But we'll get that over there, guys. It is a good vape. I'm not saying it's a bad vape. It is pleasant to vape. I would vape it again. I just think the apple was a little bit better. So, without further ado, we'll move on again, guys. And we do. We are going to go for the mango, uh, the Rhino Ice Orange. So I'll get re-wicked. I'll be back again and we'll try this one. Hey, right, guys. Well, we're back with the Rhino Iced Orange. We're at 80 watts again, guys, at 1.5 with 3.5 volts with the Voopoo drag and the drop. I'm not a big fan of this one, guys. I expected to more of like a fantasy, you know, orange, cold orange ice flavour. Let me just shut it off a bit, guys. <coughs> See if a tighter draw makes any difference. Of course, it tastes a bit, hang on. Yeah. The flavor definitely improved a little bit as I closed off, goes off the airflow. Wide open and we're getting like this funny aftertaste. So I'm trying to vape on it plenty, guys, so I can give you honest opinion. I don't particularly like this one. I'm not sure what it is in the orange that I don't like. I am getting like a faint orange, like a like an orange drink, sort of. Not quite a Fanta, but you know, like maybe some orange dilute, something like that. But there's a, a slight little funny aftertaste with that one, guys. I don't think I'd vape that one again. That's just my personal opinion. Some of you might like it, but it's not what I were expecting. I was expecting like, um, like I said, like a fancy orange, like a strong orange. It is orange, guys. It is there, but it's it's like a. It's like a mild orange. If you don't like overpowering vapes, then this would be for you. But for me, the flavor's been a little bit overpowered by the Coolada. The coolness is there, on point. But it's overpowering the orange. As I say, guys, I keep it honest, regardless of whether the send the juice over free or not. I apologize, Rhino Vapes, but it's only my opinion. First two cracking, that one not so much. Now we get on to the mango. Right, here we go. I'll re and be back with this one, guys. Not looking forward to it, but you never know. It could surprise me. Right, guys, we're back with the last flavour, the iced mango. We all know I don't really like a mango, but we're going to take it for a rip anyway, guys. Yep, yeah, it's a mango vape. Here's what it says on the tin. <clears throat> Is it the most unpleasant mango I've had? No. Do I like mango? No. I'm going to change my mind? No. Do I think this is a bad juice? No. If you like mango, you'll like this. It's a very good mango. It's on point. It is what they say it is. It is an iced mango. Just the right amount of mango to the ice. I dislike the flavour, but that is not Rhino's, Black Rhino's flavour. I dislike mango. But it is a good juice. So, let's put them in order, guys. 
I would say top of the shop is the iced apple. That is a fantastic vape. I will be vaping this, guys. This will become probably not my daily vape because I don't vape daily. I swap and change. But I will be carrying this around with me for the next at least week and vaping this, guys. I do like it. The iced grape. Again, I like it. It's not as nice as the apple, but it's a good, solid vape. Now, bit of a shocker, guys. The mango is nicer than the orange. I don't like mango. I probably wouldn't vape this again just because it's not my flavour profile. But I will be giving this to Mrs. Vader because she likes mango. And she will enjoy it because it's a good mango. So, I'd say I'd give the iced apple probably a 7 out of 10. 6, 7 out of a 10. The grape probably, uh, yeah, uh, I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. This may be a 6.5. The mango, I'd give it a 7. Maybe even a 7.5, guys. Even though I don't like mango, I know it's a good mango. So people will enjoy it. Um, as for the orange, I give that a three or a four, guys. And at a three, I'm four, I'm probably being generous. I really don't like it. I believe the orange isn't strong enough. I believe the color is overpowering it. That is my opinion. Other people might say different. Um, I hope it doesn't dissuade black black rhino from working with me again in the future because they have many other flavors which I believe you would all like to see. They have a very, really big range of juices. Go check them out. I will put a link in the description. They have a lot, a lot of juices, guys. And some of the others do taste sound taste um, sound tasty. But for me, that's how it is, guys. This one has been really nice. I will be using this on a daily basis for the foreseeable future. The grape, I will be chucking that into my rotation as well, because I do like that. Mrs. Vader will be having this one. And I believe this one I'll probably give to a friend. I don't like this one, guys. It's probably... I won't say it's the worst juice I've tried, but it's probably since I started reviewing the one that I really could never see myself vaping. I never vape the mango just because I don't like mango, but push come to shove, if it were the only juice I had, I'd vape it. It's not displeasant. It's not It's not a really unpleasant taste. It's just I'm not a big fan of mango. So, yeah, this one, don't like it. By all means, hit me up, send me a message, Black Rhino. I'll explain to you exactly what I mean. I just don't like it. I think it's a bad flavour. But as I've always said, just because the juices are free doesn't mean that I'm not going to give it to you straight. I will be honest. That's what all the, a lot of the companies that talk to me ask for. They ask for an honest opinion. They don't want it to be biased. Just because you sent me some free juice doesn't mean I'll be biased. I will be honest. These two are great. This one is also great, just not for me. I'm not going to diss it just because I don't like it. This one, I think it's shite. I don't like it. Um, could I see other people liking it? Mm, probably not. Just because the orange is really weak, it's like a dilute, really, like I like my dilute really weak because I don't like a strong dilute, but that is what it tastes like. The Coolada overpowers it. Maybe this one could do with being looked at again, guys. It could be just me. You might get more reports of this is a good juice, but for me, I don't like it. So, that wraps up Friday, Friday flavours. As I say, I hope it doesn't persuade Black Rhino not to work with me again, but if they don't, they don't. I'm here to give you it straight, guys. I'm here to tell you the truth, so you know what juice to go out and buy and not to buy. And in my opinion, that's shite. The other three, fantastic. But then again, three out of four ain't bad, and it really ain't. These juices, I highly recommend to go out and buy them. This one, no. Anyway, as always, I've been the Vape Invader. Stay off them stinkies, and join the vape side. See you on the next one. Oh, my God,